updates from um, from Chokes. Okay. Escapes from Chokes. The first one is when somebody is going to choke you. If you feel it, you become a turtle. What does a turtle do? What it said. Tuck it in. Tucks it in. So you do this. And they can't hurt you. You have no neck. See that? Let's go do it. Come on, turtle. Let's go. Now pretend you're the other person trying to catch your neck. There's nothing to catch. You got it? Right. Okay? So, if, if he wants to, to choke me, let's say, from behind, yeah, I do this. And you guys say, you can see the music. Okay. Chin. I take the other thing. Yeah. Okay? Now, the other thing is there's a lot of chokes where we, we catch the collar. We do this type of thing. So what I do is this. I'm on the ground, and I do this with my hands. I want you to do this. Make it cross, okay? okay? The bottom hand is the one that stops this hand from coming through. He's going to try to do this. Right? He's going to try to do that to choke you. But this hand stops it, and this hand holds this hand in tight. Get it? Oh, just do this here. Cross your hands. Okay. And your elbows are your side. If you're this way, it's even hard for them to get an arm bar. If he wants to get an arm bar on this hand, I put this hand over the top. All right? Okay, get this arm. Get the idea? Both hands you can change. You guys do that? So this is a very good defense when you're on the ground, even when someone wants to turn you over. Spread your legs and do this type of thing. See? Got it? All right. So these are these are basic escapes. Like this. The person tries to choke me here, I have this here. He tries to come the other side, I cross over. If he tries to lock my arm, pull my arm, I put this hand over here. Okay? So if he tries Juju Katami, you know, the, the cross arm bar, they come across. You've all seen uh, Wanda in the Ultimate Fighter, the <laughs> favorite oh, yeah. Juju Katami. As soon as somebody grabs your arm, <coughs> again, the neck, and bring this over here. Makes it very difficult, almost impossible, to, to, get, to catch the arm. All right? Then from there, you turn to the person, make a space, take it up. Okay, so that's choking. Another defense against a, a choke, and this is a cross choke. When someone does a cross choke, it's the arm at the bottom is the one that does most of the choking. This one holds. See? So if I'm choking here, this is the hand that's really choking. Even if I do that, there's three cross chokes. It all depends on position of the hands. Basically, they're all the same. Basically, right? Just the way I go and grab with the outside hand. So if I have hands in here, it's the hand at the bottom, the one that chokes. All right? So how do you think you would defend against a cross choke? Push the elbows in? Push the elbows in? Might help. But if they get that good, it's not going to help. Because when they, when they choke, they do what I call 50-50. 50% they pull in and 50% they open their chest. So it's like very strong. So one of the ways to stop it is whatever hand is underneath, you put this hand here under it and put it alongside your head like this. Now it may hurt a little bit, okay? But this is your, the hand that's choking, I take my hand here, and I push it through here, and they bring it up alongside my head. And now that choking hand cannot choke. Remember, it's the one underneath that's really doing the choking. Even though you got two hands doing it, the one underneath is the effective one. So I tend to bruise a little bit, but come here. Okay, this is a, Okay, there's a cross choke here, see? I'm far here. Yeah, I'm, I'm here like this, see? This is the choke here, see that? 
So since this one's choking, put your hand under here and alongside the other side of your head. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it facing you. This hand here, when I'm wearing my thumb, is the choking hand. So he comes underneath there. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, the other side. There, right, see his hand right in there? I can't choke him. Good, the idea. So when something's coming across like that, four stays. Okay, that's the um, defense against chokes. Now, sometimes we do one that a lot of us are favored is Hadaka Jimmy, the bare hands of Chile. In that case, what I'm going to do is catch him by the wrist and the forearm, and I'm going to twist his arm a little bit. Put your hand here and just catch this and twist it. See how it hurts? Or however I catch it, see? Like you can see. You can pull, pull down. And push away. See, so if, for example, he comes behind me, I think that's how Dr. Jim I see. I catch here. Okay? And I push the other way. Catch here. And I try to even hurt his wrist. See, twist. So pull down. Okay, and try to get up. That's the typical escape from a bare hand with choke. But there are other ways to do it, but I think this is this happens to be something simple. Again, don't forget, if you feel the choke, what kind of animal are you going to be? Turtle. Turtle, right, right, right. Turtle. Bring those shoulders up. Okay? Good. And of course, if you if you're like one of us with whiskers. I mean, you don't shave, you can just rip your whiskers like sandpaper. <laughs> now the other one is where they do a choke from behind, but they do a sliding collar type of thing. See? This is called a courier. You know, a lot of you kids don't know this stuff, because we have to teach you young kids. But this is a sliding collar choke. <clears throat> so that type of choke, the escape basically is, I'll show you. I'll do a frustration the camera. Okay. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to reach up here, and I pull down, and I push out. I'll do it again. I catch right here, both hands. I pull down, and I push out, but I turn into the hole. So I'll tell you guys. Catch the sleeve, and I pull down hard, and I push out. And now I got a hole I can turn into. I may get Kelly's collar here and turn it around, roll around a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> but that's so. Those are some of the escapes from uh, from 